Enjoyed the vibrant colors of spring in Montana's Rocky Mountains. Now it's time for summer colors. Montana's gorgeous landscapes are a kaleidoscope in all seasons. In this week's Montana Moment from Bozeman, Kevin Mackey with the Keller Collection. Every day of the year, you'll find Jeff Keller and his best friend Cody hiking the hills and mountains of Montana. I love the outdoors, uh, Montana moments being outdoors. Montana's beauty would lure Jeff into a six-year odyssey. I wanted to identify the spectrum of color in the Rocky Mountains. The, the end Keller result collection. is the Keller Collection, a color palette curated into five categories, rocks, soils, grasses, fall foliage, and wildflowers. I started with a 100-mile radius around Bozeman, gathering my five categories of color, and a uh, year or so later, I expanded it to the whole Rocky Mountain corridor of Montana. He would stretch from Montana to the Black Hills, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and the desert southwest. Jeff's first brush with color began when he was 13. Growing up in Great Falls, I started painting houses, um, I guess at the request of my mom. It was a love-hate relationship. <laughs> but I got pretty good at it. He earned a business degree at Montana State University and went to work for one of the nation's largest paint manufacturers. Several years later, he opened his own paint store, the Paint Factory. We all get a little passionate about our chosen profession. I'd always wanted to do a regional color collection. What we have here is uh, a visual of how we cross over items from the collection, like this paintbrush, to the paint world. My desire is to work with a manufacturer that sees this as a viable, uh, fun way to connect their customers with their color choices. On this trailhead near Bozeman, there's the beginnings of early summer color. Everywhere Jeff looks, there's something new. Clematis, and they're already going off this time of year. There's better ones, so okay, here's a better one. It's a wealth of natural treasures. Wild roses, lupine, brown-eyed Susans, pask flowers, aster. That would be prairie smoke. Uh, this would be a sugar bowl clematis. Oh, well, that's a For his collection, and Jeff pressed wildflowers like the sugar bowl clematis and hundreds of other specimens. What we're looking at here is a sugar bowl and a prairie smoke that are often confused. A mariposa lily, lupine, Indian paintbrush, and blue clematis. That would be a brown-eyed Susan. These are cascade hops. This would be fireweed in the fall phase. He's recorded colors found in grasses and fall foliage. I kind of refer to these affectionately as rainbows and browns. His buddy Roper Green's taken photographs showcasing many of Jeff's collections, like this arrow leaf balsam root. It reminds me of everything I love about Montana. It's uh, every spring they, they live Literally carpet the foothills. Imagine how much work and time it took to collect this many soil samples. Uh, this would be 236 soil colors representative of the Rocky Mountain Corridor. 56 of those samples come from the Southwest Desert. Uh, this is a soil sample from Quake Lake and it also is shown saturated. You have the lighter dry version of the sample. Apply water and it deepens the color. This soil color came from the Missouri River around Great Falls, uh, my hometown. Rock hounds could spend hours perusing these collections. The rock collection um, does a great job of uh, conveying what texture and lighting and shadows do um, with a the color. These are from Flathead Lake. They're basically the beach pebbles and rocks that you see along the shoreline. Pinnacle the paint color palette is, is the pinnacle the of the collection. Palette. It's 460 colors separated into eight color families. It's a database of colors from the Rocky Mountains. This has been the funnest project of my life. Jeff tells me that the amount of colors in the natural world can be overwhelming until you slow down enough to isolate and appreciate what's in front of you. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.